So how long are you going to keep doing this vlogging shit? <laughs> uh, I don't know. You don't know? No, I have no idea, actually. Until something better comes up. Like what? Um, I don't know. Until something <clears throat> that requires a lot more of my energy. Uh-huh. Where I can't continue vlogging anymore and is around the same income, if that makes sense. Around the same income. Which so actually, you're just waiting for like a like almost like a promotion. No, not not an income. Like, uh, cause I really don't make any money through my vlogs. Yeah. Um, but um, make it all from like merch. Yeah. But yeah. something that something that will keep me, I guess, relevant is the right term, which is one of the worst terms in the world. But yeah. Something yeah. that'll keep me like alive. And functioning in this industry, if that makes sense, I don't know. Yeah, no, you want something that'll give you like longevity. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Something, something. That, something that'll let me keep doing this job. But you, do you like this? Because I've never, because I've never, because I love it. You love it. Because I mean, I've, I've seen moments of you when you just seem like it seems like you're like I don't fucking have anything. And yet, <laughs> yeah, because but it's, because it's the it's the worst. But it's like yeah, it's like. Yeah, there's days where I'm like, this sucks, this sucks. Uh -huh. But those are the only the days where I, I don't have anything. Like, I have yeah. nothing to film. But then, like, the day I film something, or the day I get to, I, I don't know, post anything that I like, it's just, like, it's, like, the fucking biggest high of my life. Oh, like, so it's nothing. a genuine, like, high that you get. It's, like, euphoria. Uh, oh, yeah. Like, yeah, it's, yeah, like, right? yeah, it's, like, yeah. a fucking, it's, like, a dip. But, the, the, but what, it's that rush of, like, not having anything and then having to go out and almost, like, hunt for footage and then, yeah. and then posting what you got at the end of the day. When I'm bummed out is, like, when, when like, I post a vlog and, and I don't really dig it. And yeah, I, and I see a couple comments that are like, "Oh, this isn't your best." That's when I'll be really bummed out. Yeah. Until the next time I upload a vlog, because like I, you know, you know the saying like, um, "You're only as good as your last at bat" or something like that. I it's haven't been, heard. I haven't heard that, but it, sure. it, it's like you're only as good as the last thing you put out, or your last like. Oh last yeah, thing sure. People know you for because I, you're. Is it a fear? It's, not, it's not fear. It's just like I'm. I'm just really like when I put a vlog that I don't like. I'm just really bummed out for a couple days. Yeah. And like every time I put out a good vlog, I'm like amped to film the next one. Like I'll upload yeah, it at yeah, one a.m. Yeah. and I'll be like, I'm ready to go out and film again because it's just so much fun and I'm like, huh. I'm like ready to go. Yeah. But like if I upload a vlog I didn't like, then I'll just go to bed and I'll and it'll be like like genuinely like I'll just be like. This is the worst day of my life, and I'll be really? Like a really pouty bitch about it. Yeah. So you, so the vlogs dictate your mood in a way. I mean, not yeah. in a way they do. They yeah, dictate they your mood. They dictate my moods, but like ninety-five percent of the time, my mood is good. Hell yeah, let's do the next one. Yeah. yeah. But then you get those like so-so ones where you're like, fuck. And this started because I remember you told me before you did the vlogs, you. You felt like you had no like purpose, or not no purpose, but you just sleep all day. That's what you told yeah, me. Yeah, I didn't have a purpose, and it's just like, and like, yeah, like um, when 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 I was a kid, everyone was like, like uh, to be successful, all you had to do was work hard. Like that's what people said. They're like, work hard. Like even when I pull up to people and they were driving like Lamborghinis, I'd always ask them like, what do you do? And they would always go, work hard. Yeah. And I was always like, what the fuck does that mean? What does work hard mean? Like I want to work hard, but what do I do? Do I like? Do I, uh, I don't know. Yeah. Do I start writing code? Like, what is yeah, yeah, yeah. work hard? And like, do you I, work at like a factory? Did you ever see yourself doing any of that stuff? Like when you, when somebody said you have to work hard, did you ever see like, okay, that means I have to like go to a job, no, a nine to that's five how, thing. I never knew what I saw it as. And then, yeah. and then I started this thing and I actually had to put like a lot of effort and time into it. Yeah. And I was so excited because I finally had something to work hard for and I finally have purpose. And yeah. like, I'm finally like doing something that like challenges me every day so much uh -huh. and that like. And that I just keep doing. I don't know. It's just. It's just like the. Like I have the best situation around. Like if I was a kid, mm -hmm. and you told me that this was gonna be my job, I would fucking cream my pants. Mm -hmm. And that, and I know that. And I know that this is like, this is the best way my life could have possibly panned out this moment, right? Mm -hmm. Like right now, and like, and like I don't take that for granted any second. And that's why I get so stressed out over the videos. And that's why like I, I don't like take a break is because I fucking know I would love it. I, I love it and uh -huh. I know how much like it meant to me as a kid to be in this position and like I would never want to fuck that up to be a, to be a youtuber or to be somebody that has no this, to like, be to be like to be able to do enter 
to, to be in the entertainment like industry, like, industry yeah. and like you know what I mean. Still the industry. Yeah, but it's just a, I, I get to make funny videos. Yeah. I literally get to film myself. Yeah. I get to make memories. That's all on camera. I can go yeah. back. I can go back to last year and find out what I did on this day exactly. Like so that's you, crazy. That's so cool. So to you, it's beneficial because not only is it entertaining to people, but it's also like for your own records. Yeah, it's a time it's like, capsule. It's yeah. like it's it's insane. My kids will be able to watch me grow up. Yeah, that's, my, that's insane. Watch you shoot people with paintball. Jay, yeah, yeah, Jason's kids will be able to see what the hell I did to Jason. Like it's just so. <laughs> see his dad smoking crack on camera. Yeah, that's interesting. Yeah, no, I mean I, I know what you're saying. It's, it's because that's because I fuck. It was so interesting the other day. We were all at your house and we were all. Um, we were, you said something about you and Alex this one time. You're like, oh yeah, remember? Oh no, no, it was when uh, Jonah lost his virginity. And we we're like, oh yeah, I remember that. Oh, and there were like three different videos made about that night, like from different perspectives and everything. That night that he lost his virginity, and you, we, what, what, what I'm saying is that you thought of a moment and you're like, oh, I want to go watch that, and then we like watched it like it was a home movie. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah that, yeah. that's what I'm talking about. Yeah, no, like hundred percent. The fact that you, and like you were jo able to Jonah, do that. Jonah has a scar on his body, and we're like, yeah, you want to see how he got that scar on the body? Yeah, I can go to someone. And be like, I could tell him I got I got my house broken into once, and they were like, "How was it? Like, it was that crazy?" I'm like, I can show you. I filmed it. Yeah. Like I filmed, it. and it's just like the best to be able to have like, like you know, how people are like, like enjoy it, live in the moment, and like don't yeah. film it. Like I completely fucking disagree with that. My my like, personally, I'm enjoying it when I'm filming it. When I know that I've captured a moment forever is when I'm like, this is great. I I, I definitely still enjoy like moments. Without filming it, a hundred percent. Yeah, do. for your Instagram story, I get it. Yeah. For my Instagram yeah. story, <laughs> but but at the same time, I see no, I see nothing wrong in recording it. Sure. But at the at the same token, there are moments like with private relationships that you do just keep off camera just because it's kind of protocol. Yeah. But like, uh, but like you know, like but, if, if you're gonna jump over a pool with a moped, well, yeah. I, if some those... douche comes up to me and he's like. Live in the moment. <laughs> but like, what the fuck are you saying? I know, I know, but you have to admit that that those, moment is fabricated. It's, it's not. Fa it's not fabricated. It's just manufactured. Yeah, no, uh, they're not fabricated. Yeah, you're right. Yeah, it's manufactured, and and that's what's so great about this. Yeah. Is like, is like, I have to manufacture moments, and just because, just because, it wasn't like a spontaneous idea to have yeah. him jump off, like a jump over the pool with a moped. Yeah, it doesn't mean it wasn't fun. Well, like, sure, just yeah. because it was an idea for a video, it does not mean I didn't enjoy it. And like people, people will leave comments and they'll be like, "It doesn't seem like David's having fun." And I'm just like, "What are they fucking on?" Yeah. I'm having so I'm I'm stressed out of my fucking mind, but I'm having so much fun at the same time. Yeah, if that makes sense. Well, I mean, that's that's kind of I feel like what you have to be in order to keep doing what you're doing. Yeah, because it's just <laughs> it's a lot of I mean I've it's a lot of chaos. I will say that it's yeah. but in a good way. It's, it's a lot of that. I mean, it's baloney. I went to I went to New York uh, yesterday, yeah. and I landed. <laughs> Forgot you were in New York yesterday. And I landed at um, I landed there at night, like at nine nine p.m. I didn't have a vlog, so I had yeah. to, I had to go out and film. Yeah. And I was putting stuff together. Uh -huh. um, ended up using none of the footage I filmed because it just wasn't good. Yeah. So I uploaded at five forty in the morning. Whoa. New York time, and then I had a meeting that I woke up for at ten the next day. Yeah. And then the meeting took me, and right after I left the meeting. My car picked me up to um, to drive me to the airport to come back to LA. And that's just and that, that's that's it's all just it was. Bing bang boom! You got to keep doing things. It's bing bang boom, and I love it. And I love it. I've always said I I, I this is what I, I tell people all the time. I want to be like I want to be like fucking like just like I want to be like um, like a like a, you know those sham wows where they spin them around, they soak them, and the yeah. water drips out. That's what I want to be. I want my schedule so like right now it's chaos, uh -huh. and the, the reason I have a problem with this is it's not organized chaos. Yeah, it's, it's stressful chaos. Like I want okay. So right now it's like I'll be sitting on a couch for four hours and it'll look like I'm not being productive. But all I can think about is my video, and uh -huh. it sucks because you can't just you can't just go out and shoot stuff because you kind of gotta let stuff happen. Like sure. you can't like you can't you can't just you can't manufacture everything. So things just have to happen. So yeah, you have to yeah. Chill, you have to let them come, and and like that's what it is. But I want my life to be at a point where it's like two o'clock. You have to go here. You have to speak here. Three o'clock. You have this shoot. From four to nine, we're doing this short yeah, film. Yeah. Like I want that to be my entire life, and I don't yeah. care if, if I'm like <gasps> because that's what I want. That's like, so funny because I like remember that's you... how I feel the happiest when I'm like when I get to bed and my body's like whoa I had a fucking day. Yeah. That's when I feel the best. That. 
is because you told me once that you missed high school a lot. I think that's why you miss high school because of the structure, structure of high school. Because high school is you go here at two, you do this at three. I mean, sure, you get off of school, but you have to do homework, and then you at the end of the day you're exhausted. And sure. you also said that you miss high school because of the. Because the parties and like you know all this socializing with not like, the parties the socializing the socializing the fact that your friends have to be somewhere and you like there's no choice but you have to hang out with this this group of people is yeah, like, I really liked like yeah. I'm pretty I'm pretty introverted but I'm also really extroverted which I which I really believe that there you can have but both yeah well yeah I mean yeah I don't I don't think yeah. Well, I mean, if everybody was extroverted all the time, no one's extroverted all the time. No, I know, I know. But like, but yeah. Um, but yeah, no. That's what I'm saying is that that like that structure. Because what you're saying is you want to be here, 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 and then go to sleep, like, and go to sleep. Yeah. Because I feel like it, it's just it, it's basically. I'm not saying you're doing all this to help with insomnia, but it's definitely helping with insomnia. Yeah. You know what I mean? And I'm not saying like I, I I'm not saying I want to do this for the rest of my life and like not not like you know do other life stuff like vacation and stuff but like yeah. but like right now I, I just like I've hit the lottery with my job like yeah. fucking the biggest lottery in the world like yeah it's insane because it's not even a lo lottery is you win a lot of money and that's it I've won it, it's it's like it's like teaching a man to fish right uh -huh. it, it's so much better than catching a man of fish if you catch a man of fish he eats for one night but if you teach him he eats for the rest of his nights and it's like yeah. me I've won a lottery where I'm eating for the rest of my life if mm -hmm. I can continue working hard yeah, yeah at yeah. my like whole thing which more is, just got a machine that just prints money if you press a button yeah I mean yeah. I guess but sort of it's not really a button it's uh it's a bunch of gears that you have to put together. Oh yeah, that's what I mean. As, yeah, yeah. But um, you've been given the tools to make a box yeah, I'm so, that can make money. I'm so fucking lucky. People would literally murder people to be in my shoes. Yeah. And that's why, like, I don't want to waste this like opportunity for a second. And that's why I like stressing myself out because I'm like, hell yeah, like I'm 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 using this to like my fullest potential and like yeah. that makes me ecstatic. The fact that you're the fact constantly. that I'm the fact that I'm not letting it go to waste. Yeah. So you're gonna just. Keep do, to keep doing it. I yeah, mean, until I, I mean, I want to I want to keep doing like entertaining stuff for mm -hmm. for yeah for as long as I live. But um, which could be like a year. Maybe someone's <laughs> watching, like not watching, but someone's you know watching my videos and they're like, that was a year ago. He passed yeah. away now. Huh. Um, I don't know how long I'll live for. That's a different topic. Well, that's <laughs> that's something that you've you've scared everybody by saying oh. I'm gonna die young. I don't know. Just you like, constantly I, say that. I just can't imagine myself being like 60. I just can't wrap my head around it. Neither did Jason. You're right. Jason didn't picture himself being 45. You're right. And and that's probably just something I don't understand. But it's but just yeah. the idea of getting older. Well, you're gonna. You're. I don't think you're gonna. Don't die say it. You. Don't say it. I don't think you're gonna. No, I, I think you're gonna live a long life. No, I thought you were gonna say I'm gonna get older. Um, oh. And get old. I think you're gonna live a long life and get old and no, get bags yeah. under your eyes and. I don't really care. I don't. I don't really think about that that much. Yeah. But but yeah. But no, I, but to ask you a question, um, I will keep doing this whole thing for a while. Can but, I ask you a question that I wanted to ask for a while? Is <laughs> <laughs> what? I just, it's so funny when people start out sentences like that. Why? Because they're just so like. I mean, you, you can, don't know what I could say. Uh, yeah. Yeah. Well. Yeah. Okay. Go. Are you in love with me? Yeah, exactly. <laughs> no, are you, um, are you... Are you happy? <laughs> Go, what are you that? happy? Oh, is that the question? Yeah. Uh, yeah. Okay, you're I, happy? I, well, that's one of the questions. Are you happy? Yeah. Okay. Yeah, like, really happy. Really happy. Over the moon happy. I mean, yeah, dude. It's just like, yeah. yeah. I, I, I've always functioned pretty, like, I don't know. This is I've wanted this for a while. Yeah. So now and now you have it and now it's And I have it now it's just it's just upkeep. And okay. the only time I'm not happy is like I mean I don't have it yet. I have like a part of it. I have like I've been given the tools for it, right? Uh, yeah. So hey. like <clears throat> I'm ecstatic. Uh -huh. <laughs> I do get really really bummed out sometimes because things aren't going my way. Uh -huh. But like when things are going my way, I'm very very happy. Okay. But so like, just like anybody, you know. People have bad days. Yeah. But overall I'm, I'm fairly happy. Second question. Um, 
Are you gay? Because I watched a video called David. I'm just kidding. Uh, <laughs> wait, I didn't. Wait, what did you say? He said I'm not gay. You're not gay. Okay. He thought I just came out. Yeah. Ah, uh, you got me. I am. No, no. It's like I'm the person you're gonna come out to. I'm not. Oh. Okay. Well. I'm sorry. That that, that bumps out a lot of people. <laughs> um, but are you addicted to chaos? <laughs> Genuinely. Addicted to chaos. Yes. I know that's kind of a vague question. Um, when you say chaos, Cha chaos do you mean like the, you mean like flamethrower, or do you mean like the chaos of work, like having to go here? I guess here? both, because to me it's all one thing. You lighting a flamethrower for a video, and then also the work, is all that to me. I, so are you addicted to that? And also, not only that, but like I'm addicted to the chaos of a of a. Okay, look, can I describe one night that I'm going to cut you off? I'm going to describe one night that made me go. Maybe you're addicted to this shit. Okay. <laughs> okay, okay. So it was the night that oh, yeah, that in the face? yes, yeah, it was that night. And when someone gets punched in the face, their general reaction is to be like, oh my god, I got punched in the face, this hurts. Let's get away from the person who punched me in the face. Shit. You were smiling and laughing and grinning, and you and it's fine, because you know, like you got punched in the face, and to some people that's funny. But you wanted to go find that person and 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 record them and ask why they punched you in the face. And like it, it and I knew <coughs> you were doing that because you wanted to do it for the video, but I feel like you were hoping that this that that wasn't gonna go well, and that person who hit you in the face would maybe do it again on no. camera. What no, were you I, hoping for? I, mean, I was just hoping to talk to them and just figure out why they punched me in the face. Why they punched you? I don't know. Nothing like like stuff like that like doesn't bum me out. Like I don't hold grudges because nothing matters. Like nothing. Like everything. Everything passes. All like feelings towards people just it, it ends up just evaporating. So there's no point of being mad at this person even in the minute. Like I would never get into a fight with someone. It's the fucking stupidest thing in the world. Yeah. Um. <clears throat> but so like in that moment where I'm like I got punched in the face. Like what am I gonna fucking like? I wanna I wanna see the situation through. Like I'm so curious. Uh huh. What, uh, even though the girl was super drunk and she wasn't actually angry at me, so yeah. she was fucked up. You're, but like, but like, I'm not gonna be mad at this person and run away. I was just curious why. Yeah, she would do something yeah. just like that. Like, to even, you. like back to my when I got broken into in my house. Like, I recorded it because it's just like, why? Because you? Because I wanna, I wanna, like, I, I'm gonna ask myself, like. I just wanted, I don't know. I guess you that's, wanted, that's, not a, that's not a good example. The house is not a good example. Because you wanted to A, get it on camera, and B, be like, hey, why are you in my house? Yeah, it's just like, <laughs> why, what are you doing? This is so silly. But but that's not a good example because the guy was, again, he was intoxicated and he broke into my house. Yeah. You're like a, like a journalist slash like investigator yeah, in but, the but moment. Like, it's like if a, if a cop got shot or something and then they like quite like and while they got shot they really question the guy who shot them like why'd you do that you know what I mean yeah like when I get into a fight with like Jason or or I, like okay like this has happened to me I've gotten I've gotten hit like my car's been hit before like yeah. I've been on a highway and I get hit and and I'm and I tell the woman to pull over because it's like a normal thing to do and then I just get out I'm like are you are you good uh -huh. and she's like yeah I'm okay I'm like okay I'll see you later like I know I have the money to fix my car this yeah. woman just hit me and her you know 2002 Toyota Corolla like I'm not gonna fucking put it through a hard time just cause she made an accident sure. and it's like it's over it's done no one uh -huh. got hurt like there's no point of me being angry so do you think feelings are useless no I think it anger is I think anger is, is, is just so it's so silly because because everyone for the most part you get over things pretty quickly like when Jason and I get into arguments Jason's really good at being like this is stupid. This isn't gonna matter in, in two hours. Well, that's because Jason's like you and he doesn't hold grudges, but you have to understand that if you got into a fight with somebody else who wasn't like somebody that you know, sure, sure. and that they, and they, people can harbor anger, and like, let's say you get into an argument, you could be fine afterwards, but that person's gonna have this image of you that triggers anger in their head. And I don't know why they do that. I mean, I agree with you, but I think that they, a lot of people do it because they don't, you just, you get in a car accident? Huh? I get in a car accident. Yeah, I was about to say. It's okay, I'll see you later. I'm just smiling. <laughs> no, I... I no, but people, people... I think people harbor that because, A, you also have to understand that you're preoccupied all the time with what you do. With what you do, your job 
completely makes you busy all the time. A lot of people don't have that, and so feelings are something that people latch onto because they don't really have but I've, I've, this like thing that they have to keep doing. I've never been like that though. Even when I didn't have anything that was distracting me, like like when I when we used to, we, used to, we used to go to parties when I was in high school. Yeah. And people would just be like, "Get the fuck out of here, little pussy," and yeah. it would just make me just smile because I'd be like, "Why is this person like this? Like it's so." Unnecessary. Who are they? Like oh, I was insecurity. Are you talking about that time? At the no, this is when me and my high school. Well, yeah, I mean it happened here, but like me yeah. and my high school friends would go to parties, and like we just could turn down, and people would be such dicks to us, and it was just like, what, yeah. what, what is this for? Like, why are you doing? And it's just like, it's just fun to laugh at because it doesn't matter. Like this guy calling me a bitch, I'm not gonna hold a grudge. I don't care. And I'm like, if you ever get into fight with me, like I'll get over it, and literally like. An hour, and I'll be like, dude, this is stupid. Let's just talk about it. What do you yeah. want? Like, let's just figure this out. Let's solve it. Yeah. Well, I mean, I feel like it's a lot easier for people to shout at each other and be angry. Sure, than but it's, to, it's just like silly. Because then it puts somebody in the right. It, it creates this like, I'm right. Get the right fuck out of my way! I'm fucking driving. <laughs> uh, it cre- you know what I mean? It creates this like, uh, yeah. It's like me, it's like us versus them kind of like syndrome of like, fuck sure. that person. But you're just like, you find it more interesting than anything else. Yeah. That people get like angry and stuff. I Yeah. And that people can punch you in the face and that people break into houses. Like you you find all this, thi- all these things. Yeah. And I mean, of, and I should also say that like, I've been fucking really angry, right? Like I've, fucking, yeah, I've, I've, I've screamed at people. Like yeah. I've been angry, but I'm just, I'm just saying, I never let it carry over more than a day. Yeah, you know, like it's, it's, it's. You wake up in the morning, and I'm just like, oh, I'm sorry that that happened. That was stupid. That was just in the moment. You know? Yeah. Like it's, it's. I've, I, Do you apologize a lot? Like, let's say you get angry. Yeah. Do you yeah. apologize almost immediately? No, not immediately. But I'm really good at. I'm really good at like if I'm wrong. I yeah. think I'm pretty good at. It. I think I'm pretty good at just being like. Like sucking it up and be like, yeah, I'm sorry, that was that was stupid. I don't know why I was thinking that. Like it's yeah. just like I I don't have like this ego where I when when it comes to that where I'm like, oh, I, I can't fucking apologize. Yeah. Like I don't, I don't care yeah. as long as the situation's fixed. Huh? How are you and Liza doing? <laughs> We're good. <laughs> You're good. We're still broken up. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know why I asked that. I'm just sure. curious. I haven't heard about you guys for a while. Yeah, we you broke we good. broke up. Did you know? No, I didn't. <laughs> when did that happen? Actually, dude, it's crazy. It had, what month is it? It is. What num- like, what number month is it? Like uh, nine? nine. It's number nine. Nine months ago. Isn't that insane? You broke up nine months ago? Isn't that crazy? Holy fuck. The video didn't come out until, until f- five months ago, which is still kind of like... That time. was five months ago? Yeah, the video. Jesus Christ. Yeah, it's crazy. Okay, so... That's crazy. Yeah. No, I, I, I don't know, man. I... It's still weird to me that you guys are broken up. I don't know why. Because I don't, I didn't really you, see you guys to Why are you a Liza and David fan account? <laughs> <laughs> I've been recording the whole time. <laughs> so, so there's no chance you're getting back together. Yeah, right so now. you're saying Nothing? that there's absolutely no chance you guys are getting back together. Um, so yeah. you're saying that Diza is no more. <laughs> Diza is uh, no more. Uh, well, okay, that's good. Are you happy? Okay, vlogs aside, are you happy, like, with that? What? I'm with you and Liza. What do you mean happy? Not happy, but are you content? I'm happy that 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 she gets to figure out. I mean, cont- yeah, content's a good word. Yeah, content. Like I'm not, I'm like, I'm not sad about it because I know that she has she has a lot of growing to do, and I have a lot of growing to do. And it's like it's easier to recognize when you're like out of a relationship, be like, oh wow, yeah, like I do have these things I need to work on. Yeah. And it's just like, yeah, no, I I, I totally get like why why it went down. Just like I I kind of did before. Huh. It, it just makes sense. Yes, I am content. You're content. But not like, I'm not like, hell yeah, we broke up. Do you know what I mean? That's not why I'm content. I'm just like, content. Mm-hmm. Does that make sense? Yeah, because you got past the whole, as we're going back to the like feeling anger and or sadness, you kind of, that just went away and now you're just... No, not like that. Like I, like I know that it needed to be because I know we're young and we have a lot of different things that we're doing and it's just like, it's so hard balancing both. Do you have this thing like in your head like, well, maybe <laughs> one day like... You know what I mean? Sure, I, I'm definitely not like never fucking going back to that person again. Uh-huh. No, she's the best. She's literally the best person I, I've ever met. Yeah. Huh. All right. Well, options open, bro. If you're trying to date me, <laughs> if that's the question you're trying to get. Hey man. So look, you think like? I just wanted to be by. Uh, wait, what would that be called? Biza. Ba- David. That would be oh, David. No, Biza would be you and Liza. Yeah. Ba- David. David. 
Hey. Hey. You, you never know. <laughs> you never know until you know. That's oh, how light Jason on fire. Balls.